developing my code and testing it as I go. You're gonna get a nasty email from the database admins like, how do you get any work done when you have just calls and meetings all freaking day? I don't understand. And I need to go. I provided someone with some reporting last month. All right, good morning everybody. Happy Friday. As you can see, I am very, very, I'm tired. I didn't sleep well last night. I'm stressed out from work. A lot has been happening. Ridiculous changes. This new metric. Logic changes going in today. We've had little to no notice and we are just expected to roll with it and keep it moving. And as I mentioned, we use a part of this logic from another team in our metric. So if they're changing their logic and they're changing it at the data source, you guys, it's not like, I need you to stop messaging me. Look, here's the thing I don't like. Y'all wanna ask other people for their numbers and you don't trust their numbers and then you want someone else to do it, stop it. Do it yourself if you don't trust someone else's numbers at some point, like we gotta stop doing this. Cause this is, ridic this is ridiculous. But what I'm trying to do, we're trying to go through different scenarios to see what the impact is you know like what are we doing here oh i need to do a pivot table calculation so i'm working on this running a couple different scenario oh, we got a call but i'm working on running a couple different scenarios like doing a run rate of existing results to see i don't even know i feel like i don't know what i'm doing i will be happy to be off today i will say that i'm i'm gonna be happy who is going to monitor that? Who has access to it? Like, I swear, people say stuff like, who has access to the inventory to monitor that? I don't. Okay, so we need to do... Divide by... Hold on, did I do this right? Okay. Like, I'm just questioning everything I'm doing right now because... Oh, let me get on this call and wait. We about to be on the same call. Stop messaging me. We can talk about it then. And my calendar looks terrible. Back to back calls pretty much all day until three o'clock, which is when I'm about to get off. Like, how do you get any work done when you have just calls and meetings all freaking day? I don't understand how they expect you to do anything. Seriously, I'm not. I can't be on all these calls all day. Good morning. Can we? Yeah. Can you hear us? Oh. Okay. All right. Hello, everyone. Happy, what is this, Wednesday now? Sorry, I'm eating a snack. At the moment, this combo, hot honey hummus by Cedars Organic and pretzel chips. Best snack ever. Anyways, for work, we have a lot of projects going on. A lot has gone down in the past couple of weeks. I need to... I'm currently working on a requirements document for a dashboard where I'm capturing all of the things that we need to capture for this project in the dashboard. So for one of the um, projects that I'm working on, that document has been started, the requirements that are needed for the dashboard, but that keeps changing. Like this project is supposed to launch next month, October 1st, which is literally, I think it's in a week. It's, this is today, September 25th. So Tuesday of next week, it's Wednesday. So in a week, this project needs to launch and we still don't have all of the requirements. There, there's still outstanding questions to finance, to legal, to HR, to all these other teams and changes are still being made. So no clue what's going on, but this is what happens and i need to build another document because we are working with an external like we part because how do i say this um we sell other companies products if that makes sense kind of like walmart they sell products from coca-cola they sell products from pepsi like they sell products from multiple companies right so that type of situation one of the companies reached out to us to push the sale of their product for the holiday season. So we have an initiative project going on in October to our sales employees starting October 1st as well. This project is supposed to launch October 1st. So I've been working on developing the code and the logic and making sure that I don't have duplicates in my data. And just, I know someone asked the question on my channel on how I get through du or what's considered a duplicate, something like that about duplicates and how do we like, in certain situations like do we remove the duplicates and in last video where i talked about duplicates 
that was in the um, database based on the code, the way it was written, were we going to remove it? No, we're not going to remove that duplicate. There's a reason behind that because the employee would not get credit for the sale if we didn't like intentionally cause duplication. But the reason that we're doing that is because of system delays where we could end up not giving them credit for the sale. And this is like a small group of people. So it's not like everyone's sales results are getting duplicated. It's only in specific situations where there's a delay in the system that this happens. So we have to account for that in the code. But in my situation, I've been testing this code out for the last uh, week or two. Like when I when I have time to go in and develop the code, I've been working on that and I asked someone else to look and see if they could test it out because this isn't a table that I'm familiar with. And I've been asking around like, hey, do you guys know a table? Like, because I wanted to use the, a similar logic for a similar product that I've worked on previously. So I was thinking of developing it that way, but this table doesn't seem to behave in the same way. And I could not find anyone that could give me information about this table. So I've just been pretty much developing my code and testing it as I go. Right now the code, I think we're good to launch with this code, but I just need to build out the the dashboard requirements document that also lists out kind of like the logic that was used in what will be captured in so people know like this specific type of sale will show up or it won't. Like I want to list that out so people understand. That's what I need to work on. And then I don't know if we have someone said I need to be added to a call. I don't know if that call is today. They they were adding me to a call, so we'll see. And I need to go. I provided someone with some reporting last month, and now they're asking me to make some adjustments to it. So I need to pull. I just it's, this is a small one. I should probably knock this out first. So I provided them with some reporting. It's at the employee level, but they need to capture the employee's email addresses so they can contact them. So I need to go in and pull all of these employees email addresses and put that in to that report and send that back out to them. So yeah, lots of stuff going on, lots of BS. So yeah, let me get, um, let me work on this because I took a half day. So I was out kind of like during the middle, I went to the office this morning. I've been out from like 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And I'm just going to work my last like hour and a half to like 3.30. And then I'm going to be done and I'll be back on this tomorrow. But let's work on this. And I had someone else, I had like a BI manager um, review my code. And he found in like, if, if you if you can have someone else check your code, for, like do a sanity check, do that. Because like when, when I'm running my code, I'm only pulling a sample of the data back. Like I don't, typically when you're dealing with hundreds of thousands of rows of data, you don't, you don't query the database to pull back all those rows. You're gonna get a nasty email from the database admins. Stop it, okay? I've had those emails. I don't like them. I don't want any more. So I'm not pulling back. I'm not asking it to bring me back 100,000 rows. I limit it to the 2,000 rows and I look at that sample to see if I find any issues where transactions are duplicated. Are there any errors? Does everything look aligned? Is this what I want? And I've been testing it and I didn't see any duplicates, but when he went and ran it, he saw a duplicate and he commented out one of the IDs. Like it's in, an, I was pulling in two different employee IDs. One of the IDs was causing duplication on his end. So he commented that out and said, I sh we should be good to go from there. So look, I'm gonna leave it as is, build these requirements, explain why we're using one ID and opposed to the other. And I think we're good to go, so. Yeah. What? Okay. But yeah, let's work on actually since I'm on hold on. No, I need to sign in because I was signed in at the office. I need to sign back in to I need to connect to Terra data again. And I need to run this code to pull these employees um, email addresses, which should be pretty fast. I have so let, let me turn you guys around. Okay, I don't know why. Um, so, so a coworker convinced me to change my uh, tier data to dark mode. I don't know. I've had to make out. She likes to adjust her stuff. Um, all right. So let me and y'all. We are moving over to Windows 11. Oh my gosh. 
Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute i was almost out of here oh no this is the call they told me about okay but i gotta work till 4 30. i have been working till like three in the office and coming home because i know i would have to work a late call that would be after my shift so i've been leaving like 30 minutes early so i can come home and take like a 4 30 to 5 o'clock call that's i'm not just gonna stay in the office till five o'clock uh, no, I'm gonna come home and be in the comfort of my own home and take that call. But anyways, um, I need to, where are the, let me go into our shared drive and find, this would be July. All right, so I need to take, hold on, do I have the file with everyone on it? Like, let me see. Cause I keep files on my local drive. Oh, thank God, okay. Wait a minute, is this the all in? Is this everybody? How many people do I have? Okay, so let me write a query. This table. Okay, so what do I need? Select. From. Where current date start date and 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 okay, where is the let me format um all right, let me run that not responding okay so i'm pulling the employee's information and one person is no longer with the company but i did this report two months ago i don't know what they want to do i i need to well I, I need to ask what do they want to do in this situation if the person's no longer here so yeah let me find out because mm, let me know no but i'm gonna double check and see and run this again to make sure. So from where? So, so oh, I'm gonna do an order by so that it puts it in descending order by date so I can see the most recent information at the top. Okay, so So I put it out to them what they want to do. Um, and I just remembered I need to pull the field that I actually need to pull in. I did not pull in. What is it labeled as? Okay. Okay, so let me run that. Okay, well actually, you know what? I'm gonna pull everybody because I think, yeah, I was doing a VLOOKUP on, so what info do I need? Their name and their ID, and I think, hold on. Oh, let me do another one then. Okay, so, but let me pull everyone. Okay, so let me clear one. Okay, so let me take this out and replace it. Okay. I'm going to and uh, nope. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna put them in red. Oh, it's, I gotta put this in a Google Sheet. Okay, um, I'll call them out in red on Google Sheet so they know like, hey, this person is no longer employed. I don't know what y'all wanna do, but yeah. Um, okay, All right. So I'm just gonna do a V lookup, like copy and paste this across the other sheets. And yeah, I need to go find some people. They're not coming back, I guess, in the data. So what was that, two people, four people here, two people here. Okay, so loud in my ears. Okay, why? I don't wanna redo this report, like, one, two, three, four people. Not with the company anymore. Oh gosh. All right, but I do need to find the people who did not come back. Um, okay, what happened? Oh, uh-huh. What columns? I didn't get an email. Well, hold on, no. I, no, I did, no, I did, no, I did. That's why I went into the file because I'm like, oh, she still needs to email addresses. So I went to do those and put that in. And I was like, for sanity check, because last time I did, um, when I pulled in email addresses, there were a lot of people that were termed. And this is when, like, they, they said they cannot redeem it if they're, and this also goes for people that are, they could not submit that employee's information in the system for them. I don't know how it's going to work, but they couldn't submit it in the system for them if they weren't in an active status. So they were like, can you make sure that you check to, um, you know, make sure they're active. So that's why I did that this time. So I don't know. I, and that's why I said, are we pulling replacements or not? Invited me to the call that's at four. I don't No, oh, you're good. I'm just looking through this doc. David Lewis. What are we linking to? Oh, okay, so he put, no, I was looking at the document they were linking to. But are these people, did y'all include the people that are turned? That's gonna be a freaking problem, right? Yeah, because like, I can see, like, look, I always like to think worst case scenario. I don't know, I don't know. I don't have the right answer. That's why I'm, I'm trying to find out or ask. No, but I'm just asking because like, did we give like, what window of time are we giving them? That should be in the communication, right? Oh, oh, it does say it will go live on September 27th and will run through the end of the day on October 31st. Um, did we put anything in there that like, where, where, no, if you're, where is the FAQ document? Like, if you're gonna suggest this, where is the document? I, I responded to his comment, but it's their employee ID. Cause it says employee ID. Who created this? Oh my gosh, I'm about to lose it. No, I'm saying who created the codes? Oh, that doesn't, I mean, we need to be, I'm asking him because, I, I don't know, but, Well, no, because I'm, I'm asking because I do, re right. If they are using, like I saw him in my document before, 